Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series. And it looks like we've got Is It Machine Gun versus uh, White Weenie. Now, the big problem that Machine Gun is going to have in this matchup is the fact that uh, White Weenie comes out so fast with so much stuff that... You know, they kind of need a board clear to be able to handle it. You know, maybe a Radiant Flames, more likely a Consulix Return, but they need to do it soon rather than later. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to come back from being uh, knocked down so far, so fast. But is it responds with Brutal Expulsion? Not exactly the card that I expected to see. He's going to kill off Kithian, which exiles it, and bounces the Anointer of Champions, so it reduces the total damage of the turn down to one. Now, the good news for Izzet here is the fact that you know, he basically just wrecked White Weenie's army, and White Weenie is stuck on one mana, which, you know, limits what he can do. You know, White Weenie can run off of one mana, but it's much easier for him to take command of a game if he's not stuck on one mana. Now, Fever Visions could either help or hurt here, because, uh, you know, if he's stuck on one mana, drawing an extra card could get him the land that he needs. You know, at this point, with the number of cards in his hand, he is going to take two damage, but I'm pretty sure that White Weenie would gladly take two damage to uh, draw a land so that he can start playing more stuff. But the longer he gets stuck, the better it is for Is It, because that means that he has more chances to draw answers and has more chances to be able to. Uh, dome him in the face enough so that, you know, Fevered Visions is actually going to hurt more than it helps. So, discarding Griff's Boon. It's unfortunate, you know, all he needed was one more land and he would have been able to play that. And, you know, Griff's Boon is actually a very powerful aura in White Weenie. Because, you know, flying isn't exactly all that common. And the power boost is... This is nice, you know, it turns a 1-2 into a 2-2, two, two. and since it's flying, it's sort of unblockable. Ooh, Exquisite Firecraft on Town Gossip Monger. He's uh, doing his best to limit what White Weenie can do here. He could have domed him in the face with that Exquisite Firecraft and knocked him down to 14, but he's already down to 11. If he had left that Town Gossip Monger alive, he could have uh, transformed it and, you know, basically doubled the amount of damage that that creature was going to do. So White Weenie attacks in for two, takes him down to nine. Fever Divisions deals two, lets him draw a card, discards Declaration in Stone because... Most likely, he's not going to need it. And more importantly, he doesn't have the second white mana to cast it. Now, this is coming down quite close to the wire here. But all it's going to take... Uh, tormenting Voice, Discarding Fiery Temper. That'll draw him two more cards and let him uh, burn off one of these creatures. What I was going to say is... All it's going to take for is it is to have something like a Kozilek's Return, and he basically uh, takes the game. But, you know, killing off one creature at a time still allows White Weenie to do more damage, and theoretically, uh, Weenie in this situation can race, and he might actually be fast enough to win. Magmatic Insight, discarding wandering, wandering Fumarol. I mean, look at this, 16 to 8. 
He's got two power on the board right now. Man, if he had drawn a land right there, I'm pretty sure he would have played it by now if he had drawn a land. But if he had, then there would be so many more things that he could do in a turn. Uh, one of the big ones being something like a Knight of the White Orchid, get himself a land, and then play it. But he slowed, he slow played it there. He attacked in first, played his land, threw down Anifenza Kinsri Spirit, which can basically buff up his uh, power and toughness quite quickly. All he needs to do is keep playing creatures. And he's got four power on the board right now. He's at six. All it's really going to take is uh, to play two creatures. Ooh, Exquisite Firecraft to kill off Anifenza while he has the chance. Uh, that is going to take a big chunk of the damage off of uh, White Weenie's next attack. But at the same time, you know, you killed one creature. White Weenie could easily play two creatures on his next turn. All right, there's Thermal Alchemist. He did have to pain for that, so he's down to five. It's a little bit of a dangerous move, considering uh, you're against White Weenie. But, you know, a 0-3 is almost always enough to be able to chump block a creature from White Weenie and survive. And there's Knight, Knight the White Orchid. That'll get him another land, which would probably allow him to play another creature. Oh, two land. And Holly is Lieutenant. Wow. If Anafenza had been in play, that probably would have been the game right then and there. But attacking all in, 2-2 two, two, and a 2-3. And... Is it concedes? And he had a lot of creatures and an always watching in his hand. Wow. I'm actually surprised that he conceded there. He would have only been down to one if he had chosen not to block, but he could have blocked with Thermo Alchemist just as, uh, as easily and saved himself two damage. Alchemist would have lived. He would have been at three. I mean, there are plenty of possibilities, unless, of course, in his deck, he's not running things like Kozilek's Return, because he really needed something like that in that situation. The only problem is, is that thanks to Thalia's Lieutenant, the creatures were, some of them were just big enough to survive something like that. Well, it doesn't, it looks like they're heavily sideboarding here, either that or one of them has, uh gone AFK. But uh, the video is pretty long here, so I'm going to uh, finish with a, a little thought that I had about this. Is In this particular matchup, is it Machine Gun kind of comes off like uh, Orzhov Control, mainly because they can kill creatures very easily. It's just White Weenie can play so many creatures. And worse off for is it is the fact that they have very limited um, options with board clears. So, you know, it is possible that is it machine gun can win this matchup. It's just, you know, take it's going to take a little bit of effort. But I'm going to end the video here. That was is it machine gun versus white weenie. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I will see you in the next video.